pawn shop owners, what was the most illegal thing a customer had brought to your shop? Worked at a gun shop and a shady looking guy brought in a few pairs of night vision googles, like high end military grade PVS 14 night vision googles. Ask him why he was selling them oh, I just don't need them anymore. Cool man, do you mind if I call the company real quick and run the numbers? Sometimes this stuff is stolen property. And as soon as I said that he jumped across the counter, grabbed the googles, and bolted for the door. Employee not owner. A guy brought in a stack of like 15 laptops that all said property of city public school right on the top of each one. He then threatened to shoot me when I told him to get out. Edit, because it's been brought up multiple times. Yes, I'm aware that school slash businesses, etc. Sometimes sell off old laptops. Which is why I don't flat out call the cops whenever somebody brings in a suspected stolen item. There's always the chance that no matter how obviously stolen it is the person owns it legit. However, I'm not going to risk my job or my conscience by taking in an item if it has a label on it claiming it's somebody else's property. Also, how am I supposed to sell a laptop that says property of city public schools on it? Pawn shops have a bad enough rep as it is. Buddy of mine worked at a pawn shop for a few years. They had a guy try to sell them a police walkie talkie, like straight stolen from a car, but with the battery taken out. They told him to get fucked and called the cops. I believe they picked the guy up a few hours later. This just reminded me of my friend who pawned the DSLR camera I let him borrow for a school project. I asked for it back a good amount of times, and not once did he tell me what he did. I had to hear it from someone else, and then he claimed that I gave it to him. Okay I'm not a pawn shop owner, but I know a few. One thing I've seen was a guy who brought in smoke grenades and M249 saw belts that he had stolen from our local military drill center. Another was a guy at a local gun store who brought in a pistol that had an illegal oil filter suppressor on it. They told the guy get the fuck out and go destroy that thing. Not an owner, but an employee a man brought in a bag of cocaine and said if I would buy it then resell it back to him in a couple of days. Not an owner, but I got a call from a pawn shop saying that one of my at home employees tried to sell her work computer. It has my company's logo and contact info right on it plain as day. How stupid can some people be? A guy literally brought in an RPG. He was doing yard work for this old lady whose husband had passed. She gave it to him for doing some yard work not realizing it was live and active. The guy was career military, and after the bomb squad came and disabled it, they went to her house and found a trove of similarly very illegal military grade weapons. Just a worker here, but we had a couple come in to pawn their backhoe over the weekend, happens a lot, and brought their bill of sale. They wanted a simple dollar sign 1k loan which wasn't bad considering how much it was worth. No more than 30 minutes later cops are there with the owner. Apparently they worked for him and went and pawned all of his industrial equipment. Literally had a customer come in and say hi, I've just stolen this phone off my sister, how much will you give me for it? Also had a customer bringing 5 MacBooks at the same time, with a certain logo on it which gave me the impression they were stolen. Told him to leave them with me for testing, and called the police. Had another customer bringing a gun and a crossbow, that was weird, I'm in the UK, this is not a normal thing. You always gotta look out for the people bringing in a shit ton of brand spanking new tools or electronics. Over time you learn to read people based on their appearance, behavior, and personal information. An experienced pawnbroker can almost always immediately sleuth out whether they are stolen or not, in these cases, they usually are. I've never had someone intentionally bring in illicit items, but it's important to check pockets and compartments on cases and similar things. It's not unheard of for some eclectic customer to forget about a little baggie of weed they'd stashed. One guy paid off his loan with cash and there was a thin layer of white residue coating it. First time I'd seen that one. Not illegal, but toward the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, some wise crack nut case did try to sell us disinfectant. Funny but also annoying. I didn't work there, but was there at the time 
a guy brings in a dead duck which hunting is illegal in my area and also why just why. So I'm not an owner and I wouldn't call this illegal per se, but I feel like I have to share this. A friend of mine owns a pawn shop and one day a dude walks in with a cardboard box filled to the top with his own shit. He claims that it's magic and my friend cuts him off right there and kicks him out. As he is walking out he drops the box on accident, gets all of his shit on the floor, sees the mess he's made, stares at the horrid pile of shit for a couple of seconds, and runs out of the shop. My friend never got his name, and never saw him again. The smell would proceed to linger in the shop for a good month, after it was cleaned up. Not a pawn shop owner, but was in the pawn shop when this happened. Someone brought in a wheelchair with the tag for the local hospital on the back. Example, property of somewhere hospital. The pawn shop owner told them to leave it and get out. They didn't he called the non-emergency line. The police came and picked it up and took it back to the hospital or that's what they said they were doing. Friend of mine owns a shop. One day a woman walks in and asks if there was a female employee she could talk to. No problem it's a family shop and his 18 year old daughter comes out to help her. She asks to go out to her car, where she opens the trunk. Whole thing is packed with sex toys, bonded shit, outfits and a big box of dildos. Woman says her sister who recently passed away sold this stuff at parties, and she had no idea what to do with it. A friend of mine owns a rather unique store, not a pawn shop, but he sells a lot of authentic medieval weaponry, armor, clothing and similar. While I was there, a young couple decided his shop was the place to sell a few old SS daggers, belts, flags and other Nazi memorabilia, solid logic, except for one thing. We are in Germany. Here the state kind of frowns upon owning or selling this kind of stuff. They could have donated it to any museum and would have had no issue with the law whatsoever. I mean, it was not their fault they found it, right? But they figured that if grandpa was an artsy, he could at least help with the funds for the renovations, and decided cash was better than being named in a museum leaflet. My friend was mostly insulted by the idea that just because he owns a medieval store and sells historic weapons, he must know an artsy collector that would pay cash, but that was the end of it. He told them to get out and donate it, or if they insist on selling it, to ship it to the US. More money from history buffs or at least not one happy little German Nazi with a new happy stabby toy. I used to work at a poor store. A shady guy brought in a tiger skull. I don't remember if it was illegal or not. But the owner was yelling at him. He kept coming back bringing animal skin and skulls. I think the police drug busted his house. From what the owner told me. An MP40. Not actually me, but my significant other. He manages a store owned by a national chain. Brought in on Bourne, and as with all neat things he was just waiting for the loan to drop. After 30 days of non-payment, item goes out for sale. At this point he could purchase it. Now I'm not a huge gun historian, but I know the era and style, and had to ask, um, that gun is super rare, if it's not full auto. When a gun is taken in on loan the gun is run, not the person. So our state's Bureau of Investigation was notified of its existence. Not only is a federal stamp for automatic weapon expensive af, it's also difficult to obtain, so he was no longer going to purchase it. And it's a good thing, because shortly after the gun was seized by ATF which is when we found out the actual worth. Dollar sign 10, comma, 000, dash, 20, comma, 000. Original owner brought it back as a war trophy, son is the one who got a loan, for, like $200, but it was never registered, so it was contraband. Not an owner but a customer. I saw a dude next to me bringing like 3 Ashualt rifles, with the ammo, and around 10 grenades, ready to use. Not sure if it was illegal or not, but it made my antique Hot Wheels collection look like shit. Don't forget to consider the idea to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.